All right, it says we are live. Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday evening. Well, where we are, it's not evening where Philip is. <laughs> I, I have with me today, uh, I'll go from what I'm seeing on my screen. We have Philippa all the way from Australia. Yay, Ingrid. <laughs> All the way up from the road, up the road from my house, <laughs> <laughs> and Stephanie, all the way from Ohio. Hello, yay! Oh, good, good evening, Jacqueline. How are you doing? Hi, Catherine. Um, for those of you that don't know or couldn't tell from the thumbnail, we're working on Legit Kit's Little Hooter tonight, and we're going to work on the. Uh, less complicated blocks i don't want to say easy because when you start sewing, it's straight lines and that's fairly easy uh if you go slow enough and you don't you don't get ahead of yourself but they're less complicated these are going to be like full sheet uh pieces of of the bigger pattern so we're going to start off on the less complicated pieces i've picked four blocks for tonight with no expectation on how many we get through. If we get through one, I'm cool with that. If we get through all four, yay. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the those four less complicated ones that I picked out uh, because we've all got varying expertise in FPP. So I wanna be able to make sure that we're all feeling comfy and having fun because having fun is the most important part. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Tamla and Faith. Hi, Jackie. So before we kick off, I don't know about the rest of the ladies on here, but it has been a full national, although I did see it, it's actually worldwide quilting day. So it has been a chock full day of yeah. lots of sewing, which is a lot of fun, <laughs> but it's been a full day for sure. <laughs> um, I, let's see. Well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to include Philippa and Ingrid in this. I'm going to go start with Ing uh, Ingrid this time. And Ingrid, if you wanted to just talk about projects that you're working on and um, what what your thoughts are, and what your goal is for for Little Hooter, since since you're going in a very cool direction with it. Oh, sure. So other projects that I'm working on, uh, yeah. rock, rock Candy with you. Yay! <laughs> which, is, which is right behind Stephanie. <laughs> Sorry, George is um, teasing the cat. Oh. oh. <laughs> um, so with with Little Hooter, um, so others, you know, are taking the more natural look with Little Hooter, but I am changing up my colors to make him look more like like this. Ooh. He's like a candy owl. That's what yes. he is. He's I like, like that. that. Candy owl. Oh my gosh, that's a good. Idea. Yes, rock candy <laughs> owl. That's cool. Oh, rock cool. candy owl. Okay. Rock candy tootie. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, so that that is a direction that you can go with any of the legit kits if you want to switch up the the fabrics and everything. Um. Uh, ha open season on all of that stuff however you want to to make it yours i i am a thousand percent behind um philippa how about you well um this is going to be my first legit kits um and i'm only still very beginner at fpp um thanks shannon now <laughs> i have a whole fpp corner in my sewing room now because i seem to be <laughs> bitten by the bug <laughs> but this is my first legit kit, Got and it one. started when um, I think I was jealous of, of the stuff you were doing, and then finally, right after QuiltCon, an Australian company um, started importing the patents, um, no kits. So um, I chatted to, to to Shannon, and she convinced me to buy Hootie Tootie, and then mm -hmm. I realised it was the most difficult one, a three-pointer dot, rather than a beginner one, anyway. <laughs> um, so oh, I've good. had to source all my own material, but I'm more of an, um, my brain can't go the psychedelic, like, and I'm not brave enough, like Ingrid. <laughs> so I had to source all the, the fabric myself. So that was fun. 
But um, yeah, I'm excited. My first legit kit. I'm so excited. I'm so mm. excited we're going to do this together. Mm. And Stephanie, if you want to like toss in any YouTube stuff too, please feel free. Oh, okay. Well, most of my YouTube stuff is with you lately. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing that. Please don't get sick of me. <laughs> no, I won't at all. Um, so obviously we're doing the little hooter together and Shannon's got a picture up there of the, those of us who just get the kit, got the kit, which was me. And I think Shannon too. Yep. Um, so that's what ours is going to look like. And then my rock candy's on the wall behind me. And that's the sew along that Shannon's doing on her channel with my pattern. Yay. I'm so excited. Uh, some of you have already shown me your quilts, um, with the different fabrics Philippa did and it's gorgeous and Elsa. And a few other people, and I just love them. So love seeing those. So that's tomorrow on Shannon's channel at 11 a.m. She's going to continue rock candy. Yay. Yes. And then we're doing the New York Beauty together. So we're sewing the next block on Tuesday. Yep. Um, uh, and the next Saturday, now. we're having a sew, day, or a sew evening at Malive at 5 with Shannon. And I are just going to work on UFO. So most of everything I'm doing on YouTube is with you. <laughs> 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 I'm so thankful and sorry. <laughs> now I Very love it. Very much. Yes. I have my rock candy. Oh, oh yeah. yes. If you want to show, I didn't realize you'd put it together. Oh, that, she did. And it, oh yeah. my gosh. Beautiful. Oh, I like it even better put all together. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Love That's the so flowers great. in there. Oh. I think I she's like, wait, let me spot on you. I'm I'm so enamored and I'm like, I'm the one that has the controls. <laughs> me to do oh, that. Let me spotlight you. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so, uh, unless you don't want me to, I don't have to, but I'd I'd like to oh, yes, be please. able to show everybody how gorgeous those flowers are. Oh, oh. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, oh man. And I think there's an oh. orange and a red, but they're in another thing. I'm gonna do um we we can unspotlight me now. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too big on my screen. Right? <laughs> That's a whole yeah, lot of you. <laughs> You're so like me, Philippa, because when I'm that big, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I've done them in, in two rows, and I'm going to do quilt as you go. And there's my back. That's neat. Oh, I, I like that it. idea, too. That's a cool spin on it. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. All right, so hi, Landa. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do the the legit kit spiel as we get started. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to ignore what doesn't work for you. Um, but looks. so we are working on little hooter. It is it's a thirty by forty, so it does get a little more intricate as we get into the body of little hooter and you i don't know it you know as you're like at the eyes and then the feathers and everything those sections get a little bit more complicated so that's why i am starting and that's why we recommend starting on these outside blocks where there's fewer pieces of fabric to work on you kind of get the muscle memory of of putting the pieces together with the kit you have solids, so you don't have to worry about right side, wrong side, which is very helpful. Uh, if you're sourcing your own fabric and you wanna make it easier on yourself, you might wanna look at boutiques and solids. That's always helpful, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, the biggest biggest thing that I, I say, and I want everybody to uh, understand is when you get, if you get it as a kit, you get a lot of stuff all at one time. And it can be overwhelming. So if you break it down, and I have a video out there about how I organize so that I'm only looking at one block, one eight by 11, whether that eight by 11 is broken up into several different segments, or if it's just one page, I'm only ever looking at one piece at a time. And if you can do that and, and forget about all the other things that you have to get done, you just think about what you have right in front of you, it is not difficult we will get through it. I promise. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'm going to remove little hooter because you get fun things in your kits. Philippa, I hope you got these. I want, I was interested to find out it went, when I was thinking about showing these off, did you get a legit quilter sticker? Yes. Oh, good. 
I'm trying to find it. I think I've already been using the card one to, on the need of beauty. So it might be yeah. in the box. Yeah, I think it's a do. I love that Philippa is calling yeah. it Booty Tootie. Booty Tootie? Yes. Booty Tootie. Booty yeah, Tootie. Tootie. <laughs> <laughs> so you get your legit quilter sticker, and I hope that you got your your little hooter magnet, too. Yes. And then I end up, every time I open one, this is what I end up using to fold my papers to get ready for the um the, all the different fabrics to put on it. So just like I fold, like we fold when we're doing the New York Beauties, I just use that throughout whatever project I'm working on because eventually I end up losing them or a cat knocks it down. And... Hmm? Did that come in the package? Yeah. Oh. Not for you? Oh, no. you, you got it at the quilt market, right? I got two stickers instead. Okay. And then a magnet. Yeah. And then the magnet. Okay. I, I don't know. Like the packaging could be different for quilt market than what they send. Oh, I'm not upset about it. It's fine. You, you missed out on the one that says don't panic. This is especially for me. Don't <laughs> panic. It's just a reminder. Just don't panic. It's <laughs> all good. As Evan says, it's not that deep. That's true. <laughs> not that deep. Okay. So we're going to start off with block A4 because it has the largest hunks of fabric to work with. Um, Stephanie and Ingrid, you guys are kind of in the FPPing, so please feel free to run off on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Do your things, lady. <laughs> I'm going to move the rest of this out of the way. Philippa and I are going to focus on A4, okay? Yes, yes, okay. yes. All right. So, I've got all my couple. parcels ready. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> They're all, what is it? Her, something sealed? What's the word? Medically sealed. Product. There you go. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. So, what I try to do with every block, it doesn't matter how, or with every piece that I'm using, it doesn't matter how big or small or how many pieces of fabric are in it. I always try to start with. Fabric number one, I'll cut fabric number one, I'll place that to, to the side, then I'll place fabric number two on top of fabric number one, fabric number three, and for this one, it'll be fabric number four. So they're uh, kind of backwards. And then when I'm done with all the cutting, I will flip those pieces back over. So one is on top of the page because if I need to get up and walk away, if it's laying on top of the page, if it's pinned to the page, if it's a uh, magic clip to the page, I know that it's the same way every single time. So no matter how long it's been since I've come and I've worked on it, it's the same setup for every single block, every single time. It'll be one through whatever attached to the piece of paper. So even if I'm working on it immediately, I still do that because I want that muscle memory for every time I'm working. So I'm going to start with, we're starting with PN. PN, okay. Persian. Is that what is it is? Persian? Yeah, uh, Prussian, yeah. Prussian. Prussian. Oh, Prussian. And do I have to follow the, their cutting guide? So yes and no. I do okay. like to take a look at the page to make sure, especially on the smaller pieces uh, of fabric to make sure, because sometimes uh, let's say that this, like this SM piece, it's, it was only on like a, uh, a fat 16th and this going all the way across the page, it, how I put that on the fabric might impact the other pieces of fabric. So I want to know if, especially on the smaller ones, if I need to do one vertically or one horizontally so that I, I have enough for the rest of what I'm doing. Okay. So All I right. don't necessarily no. cut to the cut guide, but I pay attention, especially with pieces that have many pieces of, of fabric that you're going to be cutting or like large pieces. So. Okay. All right. Good so to keep when in mind. When I have to saw some of the, the materials, um, it was a lot easier for me to get some Kona 
chumpax because some of the pieces with hoodie are really tiny. So getting yep. those chumpax was uh, uh, an economical way to source yes. a lot of the fabrics. But then yep. I've got to be really careful with how I cut them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So and I'm just cutting I, I, a big, big chunk. None of these first four blocks have any of those smaller pieces. So we're going to be okay. we're going to be groovy. We're going to be good to okay, go. Cool. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and fold my uh, pieces, the four sections. So the three sew lines. I'm going to go ahead and fold so that I okay. can start with the fabric once I get those old lines in it. Hello to everybody. This also becomes chat. muscle memory. Oh, sorry, what was that? Sorry, no, I was just saying hello to everybody in the chat that just came in. And oh. Landa said, Shannon, you need to put that on your forehead, that don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll just get, get a tattoo, don't panic. <laughs> So the next is, quilting retreat that we go to, Shannon, we're going to find a tattoo parlor. Yes. Right? <laughs> That'd be great. I'll go. <laughs> um, Shannon, so do you always fold the whole thing up to start the page? Do you always fold that? Uh, so, no. I don't always do it. No. It is a good habit to get into. Oh, okay. So for beginners like me to start and get to learn how to do it. Yeah. I always wish I had when I don't, but then I always, I'm always like, ah, oh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Landa has a question, Shannon. She wants to know if you have to worry about the straight of grain on the fabric. I honestly never have for any FPPing. I know some people talk about it. I have never paid attention. You'd think I would, having been a chef, <laughs> about all of the grain stuff being, well, you know, against the grain, blah, 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 being really important. I, mm -hmm. I've not ever, I, I mean, I know, I guess you could make things misshapen and stuff like that. You're just, just, if you're working slow and um, you're not pulling, you, there's no reason that you should be pulling at any of the fabrics as you're putting it through your machine. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to worry about getting things wonky. So, um, so no, I don't worry about it. Okay. All right. So our and a reminder first piece, to lower your stitch length too, because I just completely forgot and my stitches were huge because I was quilting that shit. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, good, good call. Oh, oh dogs are going crazy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's like manga. That's fine. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. So for for FTP, a really good stitch length is between Cuckoo Crazy Like Me, which is like a 1.1, 1 .1, or um, like a 1.5, 1.6, depending on your, your machine. Uh, most folks kind of land in the middle at like 1.3. 1 um, I like really, I hate seeing my stitches when I iron. I'm still an aggressive ironer. Uh, so, uh, the, the smaller the stitch length, the less likely I am to see the stitches when I've stitched it together. Uh, the more of a pain in the tush it is if you screw up and you've got to uh, rip it out. Keep that in mind. So you're looking for that nice balance of, it's not gonna make you wanna throw your machine across the room if you have to rip it out, but you don't have to worry about seeing the, the stitches. Cat, yeah. you gotta go. <laughs> So Sorry, but we can change the color of thread for the for the different colors. What's or that? Staying with one thread. Should we be changing the color of the thread to match the fabric, or so that you don't? Or so just use a gray. I if I if I am using a a color of thread, I will always just use like the dove gray that that like kind of muted gray. Um, I have gotten into the habit of using a uh, monofilament. Uh, so it's clear, um, okay. but that's, that's on that whole, that. just use what you have. Don't worry about it. It's going to, it's going to work out great. Mm -hmm. I use it Ingrid's because. going to use the, the one that changes color. Yeah. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. pretty, yeah. That's yeah. A pretty yeah. Good for the <laughs> that would be, that would be cool. Okay, I'm just so, using white, but my stitches are so small that I can't see them. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're using white? Mm-hmm. 
And I'm just using the dove gray. Yeah, I'm using the gray. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I'll leave my gray in. Yeah. Go with, well, go with the crew. <laughs> Peer pressure. Okay. So I'm opening oh, up yeah. <laughs> uh, Prussian. Uh, the other thing that everybody um, may notice is I am uh, very rarely a pre-ironer. Keep your judgment to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no quote police allowed. <laughs> I just, uh, because I'm not, I'm being generous in these cuts. I'm not stressed about if there is a fold line because I know when I iron it, it it'll be fine. So I don't, I'm not that worried about it. As we get smaller and smaller pieces, I might iron like a, you know, the scrap or whatever, possibly sometimes, not often, maybe. <laughs> but if you like to iron, right. please feel free. Yeah. So Cynthia is here. She said, hi, we keep hanging out with each other today. Hi there. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. It's a good time. Hi, Shelly, too. So I love that you talk about your aggressive ironing because um, I still have the very first FPP block that I sewed and yeah. it is tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can see the stitches. <laughs> so Philippa, what I like to do is whatever one of the straight edges for any of the piece, I'd like to put it against the straight edge of my fabric. Yeah. And have, I just eyeball it, but if you want to measure it about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch, enough to, because you're going to trim down to a quarter of an inch. Um, but I want the assurance that I'm going to have enough and you will have enough yeah, fabric. Um, yeah. So I, I go right up to the edge. So about half that half an inch and I hold it there. So for this guy, you can use a pair of shears or scissors or wh whatever we're calling them these days. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Walter, he'll know. <laughs> um, and you can just kind of cut down the straight line. I freehand with my rotary cutter. You can use your rotary cutter and a straight edge if that, if that makes you more comfortable. So okay. this gray part is the seam allowance. On a full page like yeah. this, you'll have this extra bit because they come printed yeah. on an eight by eight and a half by or eight, yeah, eight and a half by eleven, but they don't. The final block isn't an eight and a half by eleven, so there's this added bonus. You can also add even a little bit more to to get the comfort level, and then use your rotary cutter against the straight edge, so you don't have to freehand it um, if it makes you feel safer. Totally good with using that straight edge. So I'm using this paper as almost like a template to cut out that piece. Exactly. Okay. Yep. All right. Without having to print out more paper. <laughs> I already printed it all out, so I have an extra cup of copy so in case I screw it up. Oh, that's always a good idea. All right, so an extra on top of that. Girl, you yep. can do a New York beauty. You can do this. I promise. I'm telling you. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And then when you have that little straight edge done, I'm ambidextrous, so I can cut with my left hand too. You might want to turn this to get this next yeah. one. So I hold the SM, the, the two up so that that other straight edge is showing. And then I put I, I can, I will just freehand it with a pair of scissors, just making sure where I've cut, I have enough, like that half inch action on that side too, or I'll just do it freely with a, with a rotary cutter. Woo. Hi, Del Marie. And all the way out. Oh, hi, Del Marie. Hey, Del Marie. How is Northern California today? So that should be it for Prussian for this one. And then I'm just Russian. rolling it up because this is 
used a couple more times on the blocks that we're working on. So I'll keep PN in the rotation. But then you can double check now that you've got your piece cut out. You can double check with without all that extra fabric hanging around, that your paper, when you fold it, you have extra, you fold it and you've got extra. So there's one, piece one, all done. You fold, make sure you've got extra there. Fold, you've got extra there. And then when I just lay the piece out, I can see I have all this extra hanging off on the point end and then yeah. just hanging out over on this side. Yeah. So that right, piece number one, you are good to go. Then piece number two, cool. so the cool thing with this piece, two and three are from the same fabric. So you're just gonna kind of let it hang out for a while. You're gonna be using okay. SM a couple of times, which is Storm. Storm. Stop with these names. Storm. I don't know. You have to talk to, uh, Kona. There we go. <laughs> think of the word there. It's like the New York Beauty. They have really cool names. Uh, yeah, the New York Beauty blocks are named after stuff in Australia. It is. I was really going to say. Cool. I know. They're from yeah. your area. I know. So for piece two and piece four, these are my favorite types of pieces on any of these blocks because they're right angle pieces and that just makes my heart so happy <laughs> it just it fits so nicely uh so what i'll do is again with that extra you've got your gray is the seam allowance you've got the leaving room for the holy spirit there and a little bit extra <laughs> for this i'm going right up to the uh, uh selvage because i'll end up cutting that away anyway so why not just do it all at one time and so now all I have to do is fold this piece back because it's right up on a right angle of the fabric. And now I just have to cut this straight line and that's it for piece two. So I might put my scissors to hold the pattern down. Cut up and then at least a half an inch to make sure. And just move this aside for a second because we're going to use this for piece three. But I'm going to do my recheck. I've got a half an inch from the sew line. You, you need that um, security for when you're adding the next piece to it. So this, this line will actually be fabric one to fabric two. And then when I fold it back over, I can see I have fabric on this edge, this edge, and that edge. So then that Okay. Is fabric two done? And then I put that on piece one. So I'm I'm building that stack backwards. Then I bring the fabric back over for piece three. Uh, Jackie said, which blocks are you doing? Need to find my little hooter. Oh, sure, Jackie. Uh, we are doing A4, B4, D4, and D1. So they are the, the blocks with the least amount of fabric, the least amount of difficulty rating, I guess. Um, so that's why we, we're starting with these ones. So A4, B4, D4, and D1. And we're actually gonna end up doing A4, D4, D1, and then B4 last, because that's a two page action block. And Del Marie said, uh, Northern California is, ha they're having a lovely warm spring. Awesome. Oh, fantastic. I'd love to know what spring is like. <laughs> it's so fleeting and usually in the middle of December here <laughs> for three days. All right. So the piece three for the SM is not a right angle yeah. one. So again, I'm going to um, fold over, I'll just fold over four. So I have the, the straight line. 
and line it up against, not the selvage this time, just because I want to make sure I have room for all of three. But I'll have at least that half inch up here. So I know I'm good there. Fold this back. So I'm going to cut at least a half an inch down there. I'm going to use my rotary cutter. I'm going to be nice and generous and go off the edge. Oops. It might have to change my blade. Skipped a little bit there. And I'm going to get that extra flap of fabric out of the way so I don't actually accidentally cut into it. Then I'm going to. So we can literally go wherever we think it's going to fit and utilize the material the most. Yeah. 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 Okay. And it does. It okay. kind of becomes a game for me where I'm like trying to, to use as little fabric as humanly possible just because it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like yeah. Tetris, fitting it all in there. And yeah. I found that with the New York Beauty, I was, I was, you know, I tense fight and then, of course, then I screw up and then I go, couldn't have done it. Couldn't have done it. <laughs> more material, more material, less unthinking. But when you okay. get three done, you're done with SM. But that too will be used in the next blocks so so this is all the surrounding of hoodie right the yep. surrounding area. like the night sky okay. i love when you call it a hoodie that's so cute using oh go ahead i went away from using hooded because it you know has other connotations. Oh yeah. <laughs> but every time you say and it, it is cute. The, the, it uh, is cute. Is it IHOP the Rudy Tootie? What does it make you think of? Uh, is it IHOP or is it Denny's Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity? Oh, I think that's IHOP. Yeah. Is it IHOP? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Denny's is Moons Over My Hammy. <laughs> All right. So then, piece of fabric four is a right angler, which makes me happy. Oh, I know how that is. Stuff gets in the way. Then you gotta go back and find where you left off, which is, yeah. again is why I try to set up all my blocks the same way every single time. So no matter how long I've been away from it, I know where I can I can pick it up with no problem. Yeah. All right, I so switched four. to using that method, Shannon, and it is, so helpful. Oh, good. You know, and I have, you know, I've done a few of these. Yeah. And when you when you started talking about how you set your blocks up, it makes so much more sense because I'm I kept trying to figure out well, once I cut it, how am I going to remember which fabric that is? What color that Especially was? Yeah. Similar to each other. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm glad to, that it, that it's, it's helpful. It, it did help helpful. me yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. How you feeling, Philippa? You got you got one, two, and three? Yeah, I'm on I'm on to number four. I, on to I number have four. to iron my fabric because I'm a bit anal. So nope. <laughs> I'm good with that. And I've been feeling encouraged about Ingrid because let's see, you know, maybe when I grow up and do quite a few, I can do experimental ones like Ingrid's doing. I'm encouraged by that. I love it. <laughs> okay. Let's we'll get you it. experimenting when, when we're in Georgia. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, my friend Deb, who's joining us, she is um, she's chosen to work on New York Beauty when we're in Georgia. Oh, fun. Oh, Maybe yeah. I'll plan so to do that, too. Because I've got it all set up. I just haven't started. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Sorry, y'all. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Yeah, your work has uh, been something else this, this year. I, I was trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there are so many projects going at the moment as well. 
Yeah, the feet that's in there. for sure. So okay. now that all four of those are done, this is where I will flip over. So it's now from one through whatever number of fabrics are on it. And this is where, yeah. if I wasn't just going to go ahead and start, which I'm just going to go ahead and sew this one up, I would pin it or uh, magic clip it. I like pinning it just because it holds it a little bit better. I've, the, with the cat's lunatics that I have, I've come back from like lunch or whatever, and the pieces are all over the place. So pinning usually works. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't leave anything alone with these cuckoo cats all over the place. And don't <laughs> like having a toddler again. Yes. <laughs> or or having a dog as tall as George. <laughs> Slobber marks on it. <laughs> but so that's what I would do if I was going to, uh, like say I was going to do all four blocks of the A row. Uh, I would pin this, now go to A2 or A3, A2, A1. So that whole row would be done. Uh, and then could come back and do the row whenever I, I was gonna, ready to sew it. But I'm okay. ready to sew it now. So we're going to go for it. So I keep it in order from one to four. Yeah. This is where if a glue pen is helpful, oh. you can use a glue pen. This is if you um, are comfortable with pins, you can use a pin to hold, especially when you're just starting off and you're using these uh, larger pieces of fabric that flop around which I think gets stressful when you're just starting out, especially. You can take a couple of pins inside the pattern so you're not at any of the sew lines and just pin the fabric one down so that you're ready to sew fabrics two and three to it. Just like that. So it's not anywhere near the sew lines. You can see my pins are here and here, not near the sew lines. So I'll be able to sew fabric two and three without any worry of harming myself or my machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if you don't want to use them, you don't have to, or you could use magic clips on the end, whatever works best for you, whatever makes you more comfortable to hold the fabric steady. Um, I am such a pinner. Yeah, that is perfectly fine. And, and I've been using this on the New York Beauty. Oh, yeah. Oh, the acorn, yeah. The acorn, yeah. I like it. The precision. Yeah. Because some of those are really tiny pieces, and I, I don't like things to move. So that's been really good. Yes. Whatever whatever's making you comfortable so that you feel like you're ready and able to sew it. Okay. That's what we're working. All that's right. what we're working towards. So yeah. once you have that all pinned up and you're ready, we're going to get our piece two. Now this is, this is the part of FPP that took me a really long time because I could not for the life of me, look at this piece of paper and figure out how this, how I was going to sew this on and it was going to line up. My brain did not function that way. I couldn't, I couldn't look at it like this. It, I, it was too much. I'm, I cannot remember who it was that I saw, but she does where she lines this up looking at a light source. You're going to put one, and if you're using solids, and I think both of you are, this is, this is where directionals will get get crazy. You're going to line lay together like you were doing right sides together if they were directional, but they're, you know, solid. So it, it won't matter too much. So to me, in my brain, I feel like it should lay this way. Yeah. But when you look at it, that's not where the angle is. That's not where the angle of the paper is. So this is where I would be so frustrated when I just started out. But when this girl told me, or when wow. I was watching her, and she said to put it up to a light source, and then you make sure, now doing yeah, it this way. Because I like that, it totally misses it. 
Right, mm -hmm. yeah. So if you fold over piece two and then you line your fabric up on uh, piece two fabric on piece one fabric, yeah, and then you hold it up to the light, I can see that my piece two fabric goes all the way down past the triangle and all the way off on the other side as well. If the fabrics are hard to see through, these are pretty dark fabrics. I do the feel test where I feel down the line of the piece of paper and I make sure that that fabric that I'm trying to sew on to, to whatever piece I'm working on goes all oh, the way I around. Oh, I can see that. And that's what worked for me. Some folks will use a light box, um, which is greatly helpful if you can figure out a light box for some reason. Light box won't work for me. <laughs> they don't, I, I don't know, I don't know why. But holding it up into a light works for me. So now I know okay. that those two pieces are good. You hold them together and you want to especially if you have like a smaller throat on your machine you want the largest piece of the paper hanging out outside the throat so for me i'm going to go in like this with the the section two going into the throat of my machine and remember to check your stitch length I'm not using a special size thread. Again, just using regular 50 weight. Yeah, the um, sometimes an open toe will be easier for you to see. I'm not using that, but uh, I think I just have the regular quarter inch foot on the Juki, but the open toe will be helpful for you to see where you're sewing on your line. But this is where I was talking about, um, because I don't really worry about the grain of the fabric. This is not a race. Don't pull at your fabrics while you're sewing this up. Just keep it nice and light and, and take your time. If you veer, it's also very forgiving. If you veer a little bit off the line one way or the other, it's not gonna kill anything. But you wanna try to, to you're, you're working towards perfection, not trying to be perfect. All right, I'm just going to hold this up a minute. Yep, there you go. Don't panic. We've got this. I should turn on my iron. You want to make sure your iron's on too? It's probably good. <laughs> okay. Valerie Bull is here. She said, hi, Shannon, Stephanie, Ingrid, Philippa, and everyone. <laughs> hey, Valerie. Hi. hi. Oh, God, am I in the right line? Yeah, I am. Okay. Well, I'm not good at the slowness. Okay, slow. Slow and steady. <laughs> Valerie said, I see you're all celebrating Quilter's Day properly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so just tell me when you're ready but don't rush. Yeah, I never rush. Good, good. I feel quite comfortable driving with Stephanie too, by the way. Everybody's giving you a hard time about your driving. But I'm like, yeah, no, I was good. <laughs> I know. I know I drive fast, but I don't <laughs> think I drive unsafe. No. No. The excellent driver. And... All right, I've got my first one done. There you go. I was going to say, and now you can flip it over and audition it and make sure it, it lines up all nice and pretty. And that now that you are, you've made sure that it fits well, you can do, this is where you can, if you have it, you can use an add a quarter ruler, or you can just use your ruler that has a good, you know, quarter inch line and just line it up on the sew line you just did, just to trim it. Okay. 
Um, if you, okay. if you, I love, I love all my two. Uh, I got this. One. Yeah, perfect. Yep. Oh, totally a notion girl. Uh, yes. Uh, if you are more comfortable with the eighth of an inch, do an add, add an eighth instead. Totally fine. Do I take the pins out? No, leave them in. Because uh, we're going to do the next one. Yeah, just to make sure it's staying straight for okay. uh, the piece three. Okay. Um, and as they get smaller, you don't need to, to do that, but... Just as, you know, making sure the comfort level is there. Yeah. But as they get smaller, if you want to use your acorn glue to dot it and, and hold it in place, I love that too. But so I already did that. Before you, after you audition it, flip it back over before you uh, trim your quarter inch line so that you don't accidentally cut the fabric you just put on. Okay. Uh, I am speaking from experience. I have done that before. <laughs> We've all done that. We've all done that. <laughs> That's so sad. Uh, so Valerie but then, said she was at her quilt meeting today and made binding for a quilt. It's nice to be near finished. I think that's her first one. Oh, nice. Congrats. That's cool. All right, do, are we ironing? Oh, no. And now, yep, you can, you can iron. You can set your seam. You can do your acorn easy press um, pen. Um Okay. And how you do that is up to you. I like to set my seam. I like to iron it over. And then I like to do my easy press on the on the other side, just because it's, this is on the newsprint. And they sometimes get really wet and easily uh, rip apart. Totally. Yeah, that's that's good to a little, you showed a little trick about your using the easy pen on this, where you're putting it on the seam here, yeah, like three layers of fabric. Yeah, to protect that that piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I will iron it over and then, and you do not, it, the easy press is, uh, it's like if you were gonna use a habanero sauce, a little goes a long way. <laughs> okay. Don't need, if your paper gets wet through three pieces of fabric, you're doing it too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rain it in. <laughs> <laughs> too much of a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want us okay. to show these when we're done? I do. I do. Okay. Oh, I just sounded like the cowardly lion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that two of them then. Yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Lovely. So we're working on the one on the left. Is that right? Is that a one on the left, Stephanie? On this one, yeah. You're working on yeah. that one. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Here, I'll show mine too. Yay! Yay. Oh, look at the okay. spotlighting. Oh, oh God, no. Oh, no. We don't need that. Oh, you're <laughs> going black <laughs> grunge. I oh. love the grunges. I, oh, I am... My my hoodie tootie is going to be in grunge. Um, <laughs> that is going to make the coolest night sky. Yeah, that's going to be incredible. Three different fabrics. It, it kind of all looks the same, but it it is three different shades. Oh, that's I can tell. Yeah, yeah. looks great. Awesome. I'm so excited. Sure to look look at your grunge. So all the different colors of grunge as well, Ingrid. Yes. Yay. Oh, no. Well, okay. So are we doing number three next? Number three will be next. Exactly. So in oh, the yeah. same manner as two, I, I fold okay. over, fold over the paper. Oh, okay. Can I break the paper off the stitches? Because I've gone into the, do it yeah. I'm going all the way to the white bit. Yep. Yep. I can that won't hurt anything. Break the paper. When you have when you have that tiny stitch length, uh you won't have to worry about ripping like it, it's not gonna come all apart. Okay, cool. All right. But sewing all the way across kind of anchors in and makes that point super sharp when you're adding the third fabric to it. 
Oh, Valerie said she's under her first quilt now, but it's only a laptop. This one's bigger. Awesome. Oh, nice. Good job. Oh, Karen. she's under her first quilt. That's so cute. Yes. <laughs> what was that? Shannon, when you just said it's super sharp, I heard Patrice in my mind saying super sharp. <laughs> super sharp. <laughs> <laughs> So again, line, lining up our solid fabrics and just making sure as they build, they're getting darker because these are, you know, the dark color night skies. Just making sure I can feel that fabric well past where I need it sewn. And we're good to go. I think having already done the New York Beauties, this is... Uh, uh, my understanding of the concept is already there, so that's helping a lot. Oh, that's Love it. good. The fun but thing is, like, tutorial is, is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I like about the New York Beauties is that you can uh, easily you measure and pre-cut all of your pieces. Uh, yeah. A little bit easier than, you know, two size, like for this. Um, yeah. But I do like the just kind of whack at it and go. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a new technique to put in my little, you know, pencil case of things I've learned. Okay. I have to be very careful in my chair. George is laying right behind me. Oh. <laughs> and he's not messing with the cats right now, so I don't want to disturb him. Right. I don't give him any yeah. reason. To <laughs> oh, earlier today, uh, right after Stephen's live, there was a, a dog. All, all I heard was a dog making a horrible racket in the backyard. And I thought, oh. what? Like something has attacked this dog. What is happening? Am I going to have to go outside and fight a bear? What, it, what is happening? <laughs> and so I go out on my deck and it's, they're introducing their new little puppy to their German shepherd. And the puppy is losing his mind. He is not scared. He is so excited that he doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> and uh -huh. he was running around and so like just, it sounded like he was being hurt, but he was so happy. <laughs> That's adorable. It was the cutest thing. It looks like it's a little black lab. I, I, I couldn't tell. I mean, it could be, you know, when they're that young, it could be any number of things, but uh, it looked like a little black lab. <laughs> it was the <laughs> sweetest thing. <laughs> I just, just, I was expecting something to be hurt and it was <laughs> having it, the time of its life. We talked a lot about cats today. My cats are talking to me and I don't know what they think they need. They just ate. <laughs> <laughs> they want attention now. <laughs> yeah. What, you're on camera again, lady? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> These people haven't had enough of you? <laughs> I might be a really horrible pre-ironer, but when it's like time, like when I'm putting these blocks together, if it's not perfectly flat, like I, it makes me cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> like I need to believe that these two pieces of fabric have always, have never been two separate pieces of fabric. <laughs> I like it. Does anybody else have dogs that grind their teeth? 
No. 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 Every once in a while, I'll hear him grinding his teeth. It's really odd. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even know that they could. It, it's almost like, um, you know, like when they're stretching. Oh, yeah. So he's like stretching his jaw or something. I don't know. <laughs> Funny. Because he's not like doing it in his sleep or when he's stressed or anything. He's just, you know. Like a yeah, strange dog. <laughs> <laughs> so as we're coming to the end of this uh, A four, if you so there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can trim A four right now if you are on a roll and you just want to keep sewing your blocks together. And you and you're just gonna keep putting them together. Uh, you can trim later in like a, an assembly line kind of setup. Trim and move to the next one. Trim and move to the next one. Uh, I generally kind of change up how I'm doing it because I get bored of one thing. Oh, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. So I'll kind of change it up depending. Uh, but it's totally up to you. Before okay. you put them on, some people don't even trim them until they sew the blocks together, which. Mm does not work in my head <laughs> but some folks don't don't they just they leave the the fabric on the edges and uh pin to line make sure the the sew lines match on both sides of the block and then they trim once they sew it together whatever works for you <laughs> i think i'm going to trim this one just so i can feel that i've accomplished something yeah there's something to be said for that too. Like having it finished yeah. and being able to say, yeah. I did that. My first block. Yay. Yeah. So the lady that that um designed the New York Beauty, she's yes. from Australia. Yes. Yeah. Cynthia White. Which Stephanie, I need to talk to you about again. Oh, okay, yeah. No the whole what, midlife crisis. Well, not midlife crisis. I keep calling it a crisis, but it wasn't a crisis. It was a midlife realization that I could be happier. <laughs> um, kind of, right. yeah. But got to get back on the ball. So am I trimming to the white bit or the gray bit? So you're going to put your ruler on the sew line, the outside sew line, because the gray bit is your, that's your quarter inch for the final block. The extra like regular New York, uh, New York, Gimenez, uh newsprint, that is what you'll be trimming away. So you just want a quarter inch from that inside sew line all the way around the rectangle. Yeah, so don't get don't get rid of your gray line. Okay, so just trim on the edge of the gray line. So put your um, quarter inch not, marking from your ruler on that black line that's just inside the gray or just on that side of the gray line. And the okay, gray should, yeah. and the gray should be like left with the quarter inch marking. Okay. So you want to have at the end, you want all of the gray, like where little hooter is right here. You want that to still be there. That's your quarter inch. 
but you're measuring yeah. it from the the black inside line to be a quarter okay. inch. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I always measure from that that sew line so that every block is measured the same way. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the paper okay. will no block, go away. Sometimes the paper will, will uh, warp and so it might not keep that quarter inch on the outside uh, to that just that gray box. But if you're always measuring your quarter inch from the sew line and that's what you're sewing together, it'll always work out. Guacamole. <laughs> Good Lord. Hey, Claude. Say hi. Your adoring fans are saying hello to you. No, no, no. Yeah. Go this way. Especially if you're using like um, the magic juice. So you yep. Can, yep. You could um your your fabric might or your paper might end up stretching a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Ingrid Valerie wants to know if your dog is a great dane. He is a um great dane lab mix. Yes. He is um eight and a, about eight and a half months old. Gosh, is he that old already? Holy cow. Yeah. Yep. The best pictures are of him and his cousins playing. Yeah. That the little corgi with those two big dogs. Oh my gosh. Kills me. And George, when he he'll run up to Ruby, who's the corgi, to play with her. And he like runs up to her and then like gets on his <laughs> on his back <laughs> so that she could reach him. Yes, that's it's the thing. horrible. No, um, mine are teeny tiny, and their their cousins are, are I call them cousins are, are big, and one is um, and they've grown up grow up playing with them, right? So they have no fear of big dogs, and it's funny because they're really fast. And they have a ten and they know the bigger dogs can't keep up with them or turn quickly. So they have a tendency to run in and out and around. And all of a sudden the bigger dogs are like it's tied up. <laughs> See going in and out of their legs. It's very quite funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yay! Love it. Oh nice and Nice work. All right, now you're on your own. Stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, harsh. <laughs> it's tough love. I'm Gen X, damn it. Get going. That's right. <laughs> All right. Just now, now you know the process. Here's the key. Get your own self in the house. Right. 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 <laughs> you're only allowed to use the microwave. <laughs> All right, so what am I going to do with this now? I need somewhere flat. Yep. I really love the way this grew, you know, out of a single little chat about, go on, you can do it, you can do it, I'll help you. Now we're doing live. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully well, helping other when... people. That's true. It's true. Realize they can do it too. Mm hmm I, I remember when it happened, it was because um, we were talking about it and then the four of us were talking about doing it together on a private Zoom. And then I think I got a, it must be one of Stephen's late night show days and I was, um, just as I was going to bed or when I woke up or something, I got a text message and it said, um, Stephanie, my business manager has, has suggested that we do it in a live Zoom. How do you feel about that? If you don't want to, then that's fine. And just as I was reading it, you must have been on so Stephanie's uh, Live at Five. Yeah. And then you announced it. And I nearly spat my coffee out. I went, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can answer fast enough. We can have an executive YouTube. decision. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. We only have like 10 seconds. <laughs> We're just ripping the Band-Aid off. That's all. Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best things just happen yeah 
as they happen. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting to realize that Shannon really does jump in with all four feet. Yes, she does. Sure, and I do, definitely. I'm not really a test the waters kind of gal. No. All right, George is trying to sew again. <laughs> I don't think either of us are because when you propose an idea, I'm like, okay, let's go right now, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. When, when, are, when is this going to be on our schedule? <laughs> yeah. Which totally blows me away because I am a total planner. Like I'm already planning what I'm sewing at Georgia in December. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes, boom, right away. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let me catch up when's that brown paper bag let me just blow a little bit to calm down <laughs> all right there we go I've got mine all set too I really like these blues oh, these deep, oh. oh pretty velvety blues yeah. very nice mm -hmm. all right I'm going to disappear for a second because the cats knocked the other blocks down. So now I got to go pick them up off the table, off the floor <laughs> that they fell off the table. Oh, there's little bits on this next one. So we're going to um, D1 or D4, whichever one you want. Um, not, not, not B, but yes. No, the, not B. Yep. No, not B. I'm there not going to put that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Ingrid, I love those grunges. Yes. I'm, I'm going to go with D4. Yeah. All right, kitties. Where did you know? Oh. So it, all of you at home, are you sewing anything? I know that we're working on Little Hooter and one person said they had it, but what else are you guys sewing? On this National Sew Day. Who creates these days? I want to know. I don't know. I think there's a day for everything now. <laughs> yeah. Every day has a, is a day for something. Yep. I'm kind of okay with it though. Cause I was like, sorry kids. It's, it's a national sew day. I've kind of got to sew. I know. My kids are like, there's mom's day and father's day. And they heard about quilting day. And they're like, when's kids day? I said, that's every other day. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Yeah. Glock here. You're making it. Four. <laughs> oh. D4. Oh, getting those browns in there. Yeah, right oh. Here. And the black down at the bottom. Nice. Yeah. D4. I'm glad we're doing this together. This is motivating me because. I had kind of stopped on legit kids for a while and now I'm remembering that it was fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Captain Hank. Um, just for a brief second. <laughs> yeah. Here's my butt. Goodbye. You know, these, these sew alongs and doing it on the Zoom with you guys is great um, getting me started, but it's just making sure that I follow up and finish it all. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm glad Shannon's picking, like, we're doing this then, because then I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I did wear my habitual starter shirt. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
So cute. And if you want a shirt like this, you can get <laughs> one too at slayout.com. <laughs> 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 gotta oh get angry on the payroll yeah. yeah and and i gotta show you the one i got today in the mail this may be my greatest oh, I love that. <laughs> no indoor voice i love it That's <laughs> cool. that one you are the best like spokesmodel for us <laughs> <laughs> So are there a whole heap of sayings that you can choose to put on your shirts? What's that? So where do you get all these sayings for your shirt? Is there something that you can just, like, do they have a selection or do, do they come out of your brain? No, out of my brain. Out, in our brain and we put them, we design them and then send them to the place. Yeah, <laughs> send them that's to the, cool. The print thing. That's cool. Now you know I how crazy our brains are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like we're. I don't even know how crazy your, your brains are, guys. They never Anti stop. Hallmark. <laughs> I don't feel like Hallmark's going to be knocking on my door any day. <laughs> right? I know. Oh. Okay, I got D1 finished. And this one has a little color on it. Ooh, that's oh, that's so pretty. Oh, oh. oh, I did, love it. Did you do the coloring page um, and that was it? Or do you have an Excel spreadsheet going on? Oh, you know I'm going <laughs> to have an Excel involved. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the girl after my own heart. <laughs> nice. Uh, Del Marie said she's gathering together everything for a sewing retreat she's going on on Monday through Saturday. This will allow me to join Rock Candy tomorrow. Yay. Excellent. Nice. Oh. I'd love to see. She has great taste in, in fabric. I'd love to see what she's going to choose. Oh, yes, she does. Yeah. Really you remember the ones that she chose for um, the two color quilt? They were all flips of the same fabric design. Mm -hmm. The black and white she did. Oh, they, yeah. looked, they looked so cool. And her fabric for the uh, the quilt we did in Washington? Oh. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty. Yeah, she has great yeah. tape. Yeah, she sure does. And I was lucky enough to sit beside her and feel all her great energy. So I had to get the Excel involved because I'm not just swapping out one color, like, like, um, one for one, like, yeah, one for one, like NL is not going to be the same color for every single area. Yeah. And there is an NL. So that's why I had to get Excel involved. I like it. Makes perfect sense. We weren't making fun of you. I think it's cool that you do that. Oh, I don't. Absolutely. You can make fun of me. We weren't. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Sell is my happy place. That just means you're mm -hmm. much more um, organized than we are. <laughs> uh, one thing when on like block this d4 where nl is one and is and is number three um depending on your comfort level you might want to do one and three at the same time and just uh remember that you're gonna have to scoot fabric two in between if you're gonna keep the one through whatever number of laying them down uh or just do it in order and just go back to nl 
whatever is going to work best for your brain. Yeah, I've got to go in order. I just you you just saying it confused the shit out of me. <laughs> Subversive sewing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a ruler. You know, ruler. I'm one, two, three, four. I work. Mess anything else in between, and I'm gone. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> totally get that. It was like. <laughs> it was like. I love, the other day I love I was, how I love how honest you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was giving Susan my mobile number. And I was saying it, and then he was repeating it in a whole different way, and I just couldn't, couldn't. I'm like, oh my god, stop saying it like that! You're confusing my brain. That was like <laughs> the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I'm so excited about him coming. So excited. Last time I saw Walter and, and he, I had the best day. They, they just made me laugh all day. It was really cool. Aww, that's fun. Yeah. He keeps telling me he's only going to give me one day. I don't know about that. Okay. Do you have fun things planned for when they're there? I do have a few things I've been thinking about. Yeah, yeah. I do. Um, but they've been here before. They've been to Brisbane twice before. So they've already done a whole lot of stuff. So I'm trying to think of different things that, you know, are going to be exciting for them. Yeah. I really want to take them to Boona and see all the um, – Boona is where I go on my retreat. So really want to take them there and see the can all the kangaroos in, in the wild, right, because they're all – Oh, yeah. You know, they're not in a zoo or anything. You can't mm. touch them, and I'm just worried that he's going to go running off trying to catch all the kangaroos, and then the, <laughs> then the, the big bucks are going to come along and start punching them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need video. I need video. Yeah, yeah. See Stephen running, going fuzzy kangaroo, fluffy kangaroos, fluffy, fluffy. <laughs> come here, fluffy. Fluffy. little big buck, come around the corner. Whack. No, that was... just oh, lace yeah. them out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think we're going to skip that. That we're make a nice friend video. So yeah. We used to have a show, and I don't know if they still have it, that was called America's Funniest Home Videos. That would be it. Yes. <laughs> mm. I love yeah. all of the falling, the people falling. You know, as long as nobody got hurt. But... Yeah. Yeah. I love the way you, you explain the folding. That makes the cutting a lot easier. Okay. Okay. It takes some of the fear out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, yeah, Linda. That, that, that's a good trick because sometimes it messes with your head with the angles. Yeah. 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 Hi, Linda. Right. Valerie so said, one. I think Little Hooter is a screech owl. They're very tiny owls. I've seen one in Crossback Park in Brooklyn, New York. Aww. Oh. Well, a screech oh. owl. Well, now I feel like he should have curly hair. <laughs> oh, for screech on Saved by the Bell? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you tormented by that show at all? Philip? No, no. no. That, that oh, didn't make no. it down there. No. Can't imagine why. <laughs> I mean, now we can get anything and everything, but back then we had like four TV channels. Oh. Yeah. And Ralph asked me a question the other day, which I've 
some kind of a commercial that he's focused on that was Australian. And, you know, I may have seen it once or twice, but he was fascinated with it. And I'm like, yeah, no, I don't even, that was, that I don't even remember it. <laughs> he comes up with some of the silliest things. <laughs> I don't know where he gets them from. <laughs> That's all right. And I'm like, why are you watching Australian commercials? I don't even watch Australian commercials. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've lost my other piece. Where's it gone? I took it. <laughs> and now I cut it. Oh, I put it back in the pile. There it is. Landa said you can add curls in your quilting. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, my gosh. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Janice. Janice just got here, she said. Hi, Janice. Janice. You love that idea, don't you? Oh, I want to do that in glow-in-the-dark uh, thread. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the lights awesome. go out, he looks like Screech. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, well, my Lord. I have a very twisted sense of humor. <laughs> you feeling good on cutting for D1, D4, rather? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm all good. Excellent. So, Shannon, are you going to come up with sort of like a schedule for us, like New York Beauty? I'm thinking about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, some, it, hmm, it may be difficult for scheduling because I'm still in training mm -hmm. uh, at the new job. So, I don't know precisely what my schedule is going to be mm -hmm. further ahead than like a week or two. Um, so I will get a plan for the blocks and then uh, work with you guys on what we think we can accomplish each, each time we get together and what we feel comfortable doing, if we feel comfortable doing any of them, but what we feel comfortable doing as homework <laughs> before we see okay. each other. <laughs> no, there's not, a, you know, a ton of, blocks themselves but they do start getting smaller and smaller oh, yeah. <laughs> i'd rather screw up off camera rather than on camera yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe i can practice on some of those and then i don't look so silly on camera you <laughs> won't be screwing up anything yeah, you're gonna do okay. fine Oh, Ingrid, you don't see the screw ups. I only show. I I hide all the screw ups. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will guarantee that there is not a screw up that you will do that I haven't done. So it's all good. I've seen you so in person. You don't screw up, Philippa. <laughs> That's an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> she's like oh, oh just so shelly said are you going to continue sewing the cute owl on your channel until it's complete so that is the goal um i don't know that you'll see every block like as philippa was just saying i don't know that you'll see every block sewn um all of us together we may do some of them as homework uh to, just to make sure that we get it all done um, but we will be coming together. Like we're, we're back together on the 30th, right? Yes. The 30th yes. of this month, I will get a good idea of what the new schedule is going to look like for next month. We'll pick a couple more Saturday nights at this time, uh, then, uh, and then we'll, well, April's going to be a little bit pushed because of. Miller's the retreat. That's the word I was yeah. looking for. 
<laughs> the town that starts with an M. <laughs> when is Melis back? Uh, April 11th through 12th, 14th. Yeah. Well, you guys are driving over on the 11th, yeah. 12th. Yeah, yeah officially 12th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is, that's, that's when Steven's here. Was. Yes, that's when he'll be in Australia. Yep. <sighs> Oh, I'm away at retreat that weekend too. Really? Oh, are you? Wow. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah, 12 to 14. Oh, we'll be retreating together, kind of. Nice. Mm. If you get fluffy kangaroos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was lots of babies last time. They were so cute. Oh. I know. Those pictures were adorable. Yeah. Do and kangaroos? So close. Um, do do kangaroos are they like humans and they just have babies whenever or are they are there season like there's birth in season and that's it I don't know <laughs> I don't know I stumped and the then, cause, oh, and because a lot of the time you know they, you, they're in the pouches and you kind of see the pouches being like the mum's having a little belly and then you don't really see them until you can the pel the belly's re well, the pouch is really hanging down, and then you yeah. know, oh, there's a baby in there. So I, I don't know. Uh -huh. I will be I googling. Don't know. I'm going to have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Inquiring minds need to know. Yeah, just know there was a lot in pouches this that last retreat. That's so cute. And the, yeah, but there were no bucks. Only the only the young bucks that were fighting underneath the the. The, the building. Oh, that was funny. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they were hiding. Did you see the, the babies? Let's see if I can find them. Yeah. Them and that was the oh, Shelly says she had little Hooter as well. She's going to try to fit it in her schedule. Oh, oh my oh, God. Good, it's Shelly. Yay. Isn't that cool? So she was about five meters away from the. Oh, the, so cute! Yeah, yeah, but he's big, right? You see him hanging out. It's like, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can. So there's there that was the the the, the group that were there, and of oh, those, wow. maybe four or five of them, four of them had babies. So there was a lot. Oh. Maybe there was no electricity and they, you know, all got, I don't know, maybe it was a storm night and they were all needed to occupy themselves while the storm was. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. Yeah. And now they're all got babies. Ooh, okay, back to sewing. <laughs> so are you saying that the, um, the male kangaroos, those are, they're called bucks? That's correct, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, and they, they're the ones that fight. So, well, they play fight. And I think, have I sent you photos of them playing? So quite often we see the teenage bucks, you know, boxing. <laughs> yeah. Is that practicing for when it's it's go time? <laughs> Never seen a big buck box, um, box though, only on the videos. Like the little teenage ones, we see them all the time. Two, three, four, three. Ladies, I am uh, okay. fading fast, so I'm just giving fair warning. Okay. It's been a big day. Yeah. We can call it whenever you want. Yeah. Oh, hi, Celie. You... Celie said just stopping by to say oh, hi. Wait, do you want us to? Oh, hi, Celie. Sorry, she what said, was you that? Must have... She goes, she must have eaten your vegetables today. 
<laughs> silly. Oh, oh girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. So for homework, do you want us to have all four blocks finished? Yes. Okay. Um, by when? <laughs> uh, by the 30th, when oh. we'll pick our next four blocks. So you got a couple weeks. Okay. No problemo. I bet Stephanie's already done over there, no problemoing. <laughs> oh, I have, well, I got the small part of that two-part block. Oh, yeah. And I still have, I'm cutting the fabrics for this one. Gotcha. So I'm getting there. And then I'll be done with the four, yeah. I'll try to map out what the next blocks will be uh, tomorrow after Rock Candy. And then um, put a little schedule together for us. Uh, at least of what the blocks will be that we're working on, and then we'll fill in the dates as I can. Cool. Okay. Did I do all the sub-alarms at this time after Stephanie's live? Is that going to work for you guys? Because, you know, we have to work the time zones out. Yeah, this one right. is good for me. Yeah, it's up to yeah. works for me. Just gotta make sure Stephen doesn't do too many show days on the days that we do. <laughs> Lord yeah. have mercy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, this, this time's really good for me. Okay. Landa wants to know, like the you said, the males are bucks. What do they call the females? Kangaroos. <laughs> Really? I'm going to Google it. No, we don't oh. call them anything. Oh. <laughs> Let's, see what Mr. Let's see what Google Alpha says. Alpha has been stumped twice. I know. I know. Are you sure you're in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> She's been in Washington this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> female kangaroo from you. <laughs> the female kangaroo is known as a flyer or a doe. Okay, yeah, I know doe. Yeah. Oh, doe. Oh, okay. Like, okay. like deer, but box and doe. Yeah. Yeah. Buck and a doe. Yeah. Just, yeah. Cool. And a male kangaroo is a buck or a boomer. Boomer. A boomer. <laughs> <laughs> a boomer. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> There's a famous Australian Christmas song about six white boomers. Oh, and really? how Santa Claus has six white kangaroos in front of his sleigh. It's a great song. Oh, yeah. well, I need to look so that up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So, yes, the four blocks in two weeks. Philippa, if you have any issues with the tinier pieces, you let me know, and we can we can talk. Since we discovered <laughs> that we can we can Facebook chat each other. <laughs> How fun! You were so funny the other day. Oh my god, you can do this! I didn't even Never know. This before. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Um, but yeah, so um, I I I'm, I apologize, but. It's been it's been a day, and it's been even longer for Stephanie. She even had her live in between, so yeah, rock star over there. Um, <laughs> I want to thank you three, especially for doing this and uh, for pivoting uh, so well after the 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 business manager said, "Hey, dummy, do this on live <laughs> 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 show people that you can do this." <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, again, we will be back on the 30th with four new blocks and I will have those picked out. So that's definitely a done deal. And then we'll figure out, uh, how we finagle our, uh, Millersburg and my weird now schedule and into it. So we'll get that all figured out. 
Don't forget about tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern to 1 p.m. We'll be back here again doing Rock Candy. We're going to be working on the, the quarter square triangles, the black and white blocks in between the colorful candy nine patches. Uh, so we're doing that this Sunday. Uh, because of the schedule that I was talking about, uh, the Sunday after, we'll be moving from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I have to move it to 2.30 and we'll wrap up right before, like at 4.30 before, no, no, at, at, like right before four, sorry. Um, right before four when Steven goes live. So, but that's gonna be just putting the blocks together, building our rows. Um, so that that will be- So is that the 24th? No, that's, wait, let me look at, let me look at a calendar. If it is, you don't have to worry about that because they'll be fine. Oh, because they'll be out of town. You. That's right, they'll be out of they'll town. Be on a, they'll be on an airplane. Yep, okay, so. Yeah, so then we'll go to 4.30 to, to finish the, the top. It's just putting the the candy blocks with the quarter square triangle blocks and finishing the quilt top on that day. But I just have, I have to move it um, to 2.30 because of the new schedule. So I will update the time in the thumbnail and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow is... Uh, Sean has his podcast i go live at 11 uh steven and walter i don't even know what topic they're working on tomorrow but <laughs> i'm gonna bet it's going to involve craziness so be prepared uh and then russ will have his podcast vlog going out at some point tomorrow as well if i'm forgetting anything or anybody else i apologize but i think that's it for tomorrow i feel like that's that's usually the play the playbook for us so <laughs> thank you all so much out there uh shelly for sure i will let you know what blocks we're going to be working on um too uh, so that you can play catch up if you want to uh and and we will work on hooty hoot hoot <laughs> at the end of the month tootie. Tootie. Tootie, tootie. Tootie, tootie, tootie. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a wonderful night. I hope to see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh, I gotta get, gotta get my mouse. I always forget about having the mouse ready when I'm saying <laughs> goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.